here with a uh, video part two of uh, how a Tamjet 70 millimeter to 120 millimeter EDF unit is made. Uh, as you can see here, I have a 70 millimeter fan of my own. Also, I purchased here. Uh, I think he's just designed a tail cone for this, so I still have to go back and uh, see what the tail cone's about. Uh, right here, I have the 90 millimeter Black Hawk that I've flown a couple times. Some of you guys might have seen a video of it. Uh, it has the 90 millimeter fan in there, so this is what I'll be showing here in video part two is how the fan was balanced. We already showed that he had this in the oven, so we're going to see what happens when it comes out the oven and everything's all dry and ready to go and the motor goes inside of it. So let's get into uh, video part two. As you guys can see, the fan's installed up there in the right hand corner, which is my left hand corner. Uh, the setup I have here produces 2200 watts of thrust so I could change the motor out and go to a bigger motor if I wanted more power but this suits it just fine it gives it vertical not much more I can ask for so let's get into video part two of the 90 millimeter fan so what I'm doing here is just some, some kind of more with not machine perfect so a little, little bit oversized I just clean up the black and I that should be able to fit in this route Uh, you, if you don't have the lay at home, fine. You can use the uh, a trimmer tool with the uh, this the cleaning this, and you can take off the, uh, the black anodized, and that should enough for uh, to clear. And see, that's all you need to do. If you run to those cap kind of case, and um, between this and this is two different machine shops. So I only follow what the dimension the factory give, but. The more amount machined by the factory, they're not consistent plus the anodized also build up the different torrent. So sometimes you need to, if you run into this problem, you just clean up the an black anodized and that should be able to fit in the, uh, the shroud. Okay. Here's another way, if you don't have a lay, you can do a sand like, you know, what I have here is 320, you can run uh, 220 or 180 grit sandpaper. Just wrap around a motor, just in your hand, and just spin it in your hand and remove the black anodize. You know, probably take you 15, 20 minutes to do it, but that also will do the job. You know, you don't need to take out much, just enough to clean out a black anodize. That should fit in this round. This a mean pole roller. Just came in a couple days ago. Now I'm gonna balance with my. Shop adapter on, so make sure the hooking balance with this or it's both on. This saves you a lot of trouble when the fan and rotor is already balanced for you. So pretty much when I get home, all I will have to do is slip the motor in, put the rotor on, add me a little Loctite, let it sit for a while until I know it's completely dry, and go ahead and throw it inside my jet. I'm good to go. I don't have to spend tons of time trying to balance this thing at home. When I don't have the sophisticated software, it's such a balancing machine and a computer to tell me when everything's balanced perfect. And what he's going to do, he's going to run the rotor on this machine. And the computer over here will tell him when it's balanced. In other words, if he has to add weight or remove weight, it's going to be doing it until both green spots you see are inside the center blue line there. This tape right here is a reflection light. So I have a laser here that will pick up the RPM this rotor spinning so the software can calculate 
where is the off balance are. So this software is, is really, I can balance down really to fraction, you know, on top of fraction. And uh, what it does, it will tell me this side and this side where it's off balance. Most of the standard balance machine, you only do static balance, that means you only balance statics. But this is uh, two point, that means it balance the rear and balance the front. That's why you get the smooth running rotor. Test run. So basically this number, this two number is tell you how far off from the center. So we're not talking about, it's very close to balance. It's always smooth enough already to use, but I can fine tune it, you know, closer if I want. But as, as right now, it's almost good enough to run it's pretty smooth right now. So this this rotor is pretty pretty well balanced from the factory, and I can check. Also, nothing better than your finger. Your finger is very sensitive. Even the computer is not as good as your finger. So what I do, and I put my finger in here, I can look for vibration. You know, feel the vibration on a rotor if there any. In this case, the front is very smooth, and the back it does show a little vibration in the back. And I can see that on here. See the number in front? It's smaller number than the back plane. So this is a front plane and this is a back plane. See the front plane show 0.066, the back shown 0.097. That's mean that there's a little vibration from the back. So I can go fine tune. It show me to add weight at this zero degree. Okay? But I'm not I can add weight or remove weight from opposite side. To get a balance, so whatever is easy to add on weight, maybe, maybe I just use CA, thick CA, and put a drop right here, and it should be good to go. Okay, say it again. So I hook the motor to the shroud, and I will put the spinner on, and I run it. I, I will turn the spinner, you know, one degree at a time until I find a smooth spot because. The spinner is not balanced and I can't balance with a spinner on my machine. So I have to manually pull in and run it and spin until I find a sweet spot. Then I mark it where the spinner stay out and, uh, and screw it in. And when you guys ever take it out, put the spinner back on, put it back to the exact same spot. Okay? TJ70, TJ90, TJ100, TJ120, the 110 is sold, even prototype, okay? Here's another news, between 70 and the 90, there's another fan in between. That's new production, could be released in another couple of weeks. So if you guys have a 70 million airplane, want to go faster, you can put a TJ80 in there, have more power. Instead of running 2,000 watt to this little van, you, you can put a 2,000 watt to a TJ80. So you get more efficient power than throw all the power to the little van. So that's something coming up next. And uh, hope I don't clean your wallet out. And keep your Visa, MasterCard safe somewhere so I don't pick it out of your wallet. All right, that's it.